It's been another eight days in the course grid. Let's take a look and see how these are coming along. This is the blue Botswana agate. It's feeling really smooth. Still has some ways to go, but it's getting there. Here's the blue lace agate, also coming along nicely. Nearly finished with the course stage. Just want to get rid of this non-bluish material on the top and bottom. So very close now. And here's our Turritella agate. Ah, several more weeks, unfortunately, on this one. That channel right there is it's just tough to get that ground out. This is a very hard material. Here's our piece of Bruno Jasper. It's feeling very smooth. I may not grind all this stuff off. You know what? It, it, it's feeling so smooth. I may leave some of that in just for some character. Here's that broken up piece of Royal Imperial Jasper. Still a few fractures that need to be ground out. This is our piece of porcelain jasper. This one's close. You see there's a little problem right here. But otherwise, this one is just about ready to go. The prairie agate continues to grind down nicely. It's getting smoother and smoother as the weeks go on. Here's our common plume opal. Yeah, okay, I think I'm about done with this in the course stage. It'll never be perfect. So this one I'm going to go ahead and set aside and uh, we'll wait on the others to catch up so it can start together with them in the polishing stages, the eight day polishing. The Mozambique agate continues to smooth out. You know, I was thinking about it. I may not try to make this one completely smooth because these are pretty deep and that's just going to take probably too many weeks. So instead, Maybe once all of these spalls are ground out, I may go ahead and move it on from there and just live with the, the little divots. Of course, this is the Mexican lace. Looking good, getting closer and closer. Not quite there yet. Still some roughness here, here. Even this top area has a little bit of roughness. Here's our petrified palm wood. Getting closer. And finally, the lanite, which is now two pieces. I did take a chisel and break it at that fracture. So there you have it, another update. Like I said, these, these are gonna be put aside now. It's as good as they're gonna get in the course stage. Yeah, they should polish nicely. The rest of these, back in for another Week to 10 days in the silicon carbide 6090 grit. Thanks for watching. It's been another 10 days of coarse grinding in the 6090 grit. Let's take a closer look and see how they're coming along. First up, of course, is the blue Botswana. This one's getting close. This spall here needs to go away a little bit there, but otherwise this one's looking really good. The blue lace agate is Nearly done. I, I could just stop it at this point and move it on. I was hoping to get rid of all of this non-bluish mineral. But you know what? I may just go ahead and call this one done. The Turritella agate is getting closer and closer. Still dealing with that valley right there. The rest of it's almost there. So this may end up having a non-polished section when it's all said and done. We'll see. Here's our Bruno Jasper. Looking better and better. This one's getting close. Ah, this is the Royal Imperial. This stuff is fracture city. It just breaks apart. Or maybe I just had a bad stone. The main stone is getting closer. Still a few issues. But as you can see, it is just coming apart. Here's our piece of porcelain jasper. This one is finished with the coarse grinding. It is ready for polish. There are no significant issues with this anymore. So next stop for this will be the vibratory tumbler when all the rest are ready as well. Here's our prairie agate, getting better and better. Still a little ways to go, but we're almost there. 
I just recently finished a couple of pieces of Prairie Agate in another video of mine, and I was most impressed with the results. So I'm hopeful this one will also turn out really nice. Here's the Mozambique Agate. That spall is going away. I think once that spall is gone, and that spall, I'll probably call this one done and just live with this long fracture because <laughs> there's no getting rid of that. Check out our colorful Mexican lace. This side is practically done. This side still has a little bit of an issue here and maybe a little bit over there, but another week or two and this one will be finished with the course stage. Oh, this will be a beauty once it's polished. Here's our petrified palm wood, also nearly done. Little bit of an issue there and still a little bit of a divot issue here, which neither of which are too significant, but I think it, another week just to, just to make it closer to perfection. And finally, here's our piece of self-collected lanite. I'm going to call this one, hmm, I was gonna say finish, but you know what? I see that little flaw there, that little undercutting spot there. Now, some issues like this will not go away. There'll be more of that. I have to think about this one. Is it worth it going another week? It gets smaller each week. Just on the off chance I can smooth that little tip out right there and maybe, maybe get rid of that. What do you think? Thank you to everyone watching my update. We are almost done. A couple of these are finished. I'm gonna call it on the, the blue lace and on the porcelain jasper. These are finished. They will wait on the rest. I think I'll go ahead and let the lanite go one more week. So thanks again for watching.